To create a symbol, draw the information you want. I'm going to create a symbol for a piece of timber. So I've got a cross section, I've got a rectangle, two lines. I think you might also call this a piece of lumber. So here we are, I've got my objects, there's three objects. Select all of them, modify, create symbol. I'm going to call it by its size. So this actual piece of timber is 90 by 45 in millimeter terms. So it'd be, you know, well it's an old 2 by 4 but it's dry. I'm going to leave the instance in place. I'm going to use the next mouse click. I've given it the name so that I know how to find this piece of timber or this piece of lumber on my resource browser when it comes time to use it. Be consistent with your names. It'll make it a lot easier for you. Click OK. Yes, I'm going to replace an existing one. So this little click, this uh, I call it the bullseye cursor. I've forgotten its name. But this cursor is going to define the insertion point of my symbol. I'm going to use the bottom left hand corner. When I click the symbol goes away, comes back again. And that's all there really is to creating symbols. You draw what you want, you select what you've got, and then you create the symbol from it.